Hey everyone, Charlie here. Welcome to another episode of Talking Time with Charlie, where today we're gonna to talk about an interesting talking time subject, which is kind of ironic at the same time. And uh, talking times where I talk about stuff, oftentimes music, and this talking time, talking time episode is gonna be about how I don't like to talk about music and why and uh, kind of go into what that's all about. So uh, before we start, you know what to do. Hit the like button, comment button, um, comment button, comment below. Let me think what your thoughts are. Let me think what your thoughts, boy, I'm just, I need some coffee. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you like talking about music? Do you not like talking about music? Do you see my points? Do you, whatever. Um, Cause I, you know, everyone has their own opinions and it's great to hear others' opinions on different things. Um, and, uh, and be sure to hit the notification bell and all that good stuff. So let's get right to it. I don't particularly like talking about music. And this might be something that's a little bit weird in the music world because um, I know a lot of musicians. Um, I, uh, uh, yeah, I've met a ton, I know a ton. Um, a lot of them are really, really nice people. Uh, most of them are in fact. And the thing is I, uh, I am the I'm the type of person who has um, uh, really little interest in like talking about music. I like playing music. That's great, but I wouldn't really want to sit down and have a couple hour long discussion about this one particular movement of this one particular Beethoven sonata and why it might have been influenced by what or who or how or any of that stuff. Um, just not that interested in talking about that kind of thing. Um, and I, you know, I don't really necessarily have a good reason why. Uh, it just never really sparked my interest. Uh, you know, some people really can go in, go into big detail and really just have a ball discussing why, you know, one particular phrase in the 47th measure of this Mozart concerto uh, should have actually been extended an additional note and how the, you know, the editor did this or something. I, I, I don't really like talking about that kind of stuff. I like playing the pieces. Um, I like trying to express what I think that they should be like and how they should be interpreted and you know that and what the music is saying and what the composer is trying to say and stuff through the music but I don't necessarily like talking about it with other people um, in words and stuff does it, if that makes sense and it, um, it's not that I it's not that I don't like the music at all that's not the point um, I do like the music it's just that I don't like talking about it um, for fun if that makes sense um, yeah, so let's, let's go into a little detail. So what do I like talking about? So people who know me really well know that I like a lot of things. I have a lot of different interests. I mean, even if you check out, I, I upload sometimes random videos on YouTube of me doing house improvement stuff or whatever. I'm really into to tech. I like, um, I like to talk, you know, I like, I like uh, finance, things like that. Um, but I don't really like talking about music in a, in a you know, verbal way. I like talking music through music, but not, you know, about, not with other musicians or whatever about a particular phrase or a particular composer's backstory or history or not that interested in it. Now, they, those things can be useful, you know, like if you're thinking, oh, you know, some of the Prokofiev piece, uh, pieces that he wrote were inspired by like the war. Uh, that can be very, very, you know, useful information because the way he writes certain things might be reminiscent or inspired by or whatever. Um, of, of, of wartime, like, you know, uh, uh, like, uh, fighting and, and, and guns and things like that, the percussiveness of repeated notes, things like that, it can be inspired by, and that can be very, very important. Uh, but, you know, I'm not a musicologist. I don't consider myself to be a musicologist. A musicologist, for those of you who don't know, are people who um, uh, basically study music in a, in a very academic sense. Um, so it can be like music history. They're really into like the, the life of Beethoven and why he did all that kind of stuff. Um, it can be people who study music um, like scores and like comparing all the different editions and versions of a piece of music, uh, things like that. Uh, and, you know, I'm not, not to poo-poo on any of that. That can be very, very important stuff. It's just not what I'm interested in. And um, so when I, you know, when I hang out with people, I very, very rarely talk about talk about music and um, you know I you know I talk about music in the sense that you know it's it's I, I love music I love performing music and it's you know it's my career um, but you know I don't get into heated discussions about you know a particular Beethoven sonata or Mozart concerto or or you know 
you know, why, why something was written in D flat versus, you know, E flat or something like that. You know, I, I just don't really care. Um, I think there's a lot of other things that are more interesting to talk about. Um, music, I think, is very interesting to play. And, uh, and I, think, I think talking about music, I think playing music is the ultimate way of talking about it because you're kind of showing what you believe through the music itself, right? Like if you're talking about music in English or Korean or whatever language, you're basically just uh, translating your thoughts on the music into a completely different language. Music is like its own language. And just like any other translation, when you translate stuff, stuff gets lost, right? Um, you can't you can't translate something perfectly um, across languages. Meanings change. You know, there's cultural um, cultural differences that can affect what uh, how someone interprets you know a, a certain phrase or or sentence or whatever. And and likewise in music, when you translate music from music to uh, English or whatever, you're going to lose stuff. You know, you're not going to be able to accurately portray it unless you play it the way you want to or something. So, you know, is that the reason I don't like talking about music? Not necessarily. I just don't find talking about music uh, in a word way uh, very interesting. Uh, there's plenty of other things I'd love to talk about with words, uh, with other people and stuff, but you know, the, the in depths of music isn't one of them. Now, it's not to say that I don't ever talk about music, and you know, sometimes it, it can be it can be neat. You can talk about your career. You can talk about what you're up to or what cool ideas you might have for the future. That's neat. But um, even that stuff, I can only really take in small quantities. Um, I just, uh, yeah, that's just me. So it's not that I don't, you know, if other people like doing that, great, good on them. Um, but personally, I, I just, I don't really particularly care for talking about music. I love playing it, not so much talking about it. So with that being said, I think I'm going to wrap it up now. So I hope you all have a uh, let me let me know let me know in the comments. Do you like talking about music? First of all, are you a musician? And secondly, do you like talking about music? And why? Uh, why or why not? Um, so I hope I gave you some you know background of why I don't particularly like it. The bottom line is it's just not that interesting to talk about to me. Um, just like some people don't find discussing rare comic book collections interesting, whereas other people might find that to be the most interesting thing in the world. Um, people have different interests. I love playing music. Um, talking in depth about it for long lengths of time, about its history and, you know, nuanced, you know, phrasing and stuff like that. Not my most favorite thing to talk about. So anyway, I hope you all do good, are all doing good, that is, doing well. I can't speak English, see, maybe that's, I don't know. I uh, hope you're all doing well and uh, staying safe and healthy, and I'll see you guys next time on A Talking Time. All right, bye-bye.